Justice Barrett? So the restraining order prevented your client from possessing a firearm, and it also immediately suspended his handgun license? Was that unconstitutional? Um, your Honor, uh, I, just to take issue with the second part of the question first, that language, suspending handgun license, that's in all of these Tarrant County orders. That's part of the boilerplate. But still, it says it's ordered that his handgun license is immediately suspended. So right. just let's, let's go with the, with the order's language. Did that violate the Second Amendment, putting 922 aside? I think to answer that question, then we, we would bring the whole record, the record that was before the court um, in terms, and, and the client agreed to the order. So it would be very difficult. But you're going, you're going back to the process. Right. You know, she had the affidavit. Let's, let's imagine they, they go back and forth. Let's, let's imagine it's a more fulsome process, and she actually testifies, and he cross-examines her. Whatever. Let's assume there's no process problem. Would it be unconstitutional then to deprive your client of his handgun license and his, his prohibit him from possessing a firearm? Because I, I assume that you've said there's no analog of, of this kind of domestic violence. Right. Or the analog would be in terms of what courts could do through equitable powers otherwise. I think that would have to but, be the analog. they can't, through their equitable powers, do something that would violate the Constitution, right? Right. Right. So if the finding was that um, nothing short of surrender of firearms would prevent damage to life and limb, that would be constitutional. I, so I, I don't know if that answers your question or not. But.